As a dietitian who works a lot with people who recreate outdoors, I get a lot of questions about supplements and specifically electrolyte supplements or carbohydrate sport type drinks. So today we're gonna to go over a few tips to try to help you narrow down A, if you need one, and B, if you do need one, what's a good one to buy? So first of all, determining if you even need one. One of the best ways to analyze that is to assess if your time that you're gonna be active is 60 minutes or more. So if you're going for a ride, a bike ride, a mountain bike ride after work, let's say or you're going for a hike with your family in the foothills that you don't anticipate lasting too long, you probably don't need any sort of additional supplemental carbohydrate drink to replace those carb stores that are lost in activity. For longer events, as duration increases or as weather increases, particularly temperature, that's whenever it's a good idea to start looking at something to replace not only the nutrient stores, but the sodium that's lost in sweat from either exhaling in the air or sweating. So one of the myths that exists is in colder environments, you might not need an additional supplement, but you could because of how much moisture is lost just through exhalation. After determining that you think you might need some sort of a supplement, one of the best things to look for to remember is assessing the type and the amount. So when you look at type, is it's important to remember, it's important to know, it's important to learn a little bit more about nutrition. So carbohydrate classifications are essentially broken up or the family is broken up by how many sugar molecules are attached to a chain. So don't worry, no, no super confusing science lesson here. There's really three main things to remember. There's a single sugar, which is gonna be the most simple form of carbohydrate and broken down the quickest. There's double sugars, so second to that. And then there's chains that last longer than one or two. So they extend from three to much, much more than that. These you definitely don't need to worry about. These are mostly found in starches, potatoes, pastas, etc., which are still great fuel sources, but not typically found in these supplements. You wanna find a combination um, that includes a single and a double type of carbohydrate or a double type of a sugar. That's going to be something like sucrose and fructose when you read the ingredient list. The reason why that's important is because we can metabolize as many as 60 to 90 grams of carbohydrate in an hour, basically one to one and a half grams per minute of activity. When you combine a single and a double fuel source at the same time, you get better uptake and better restoration of those used stores. So you'll find a lot with maybe one, but this combination of one and two is one thing that sort of sets a supplement apart from uh, you know, a bottle of Country Time Lemonade or something similar that's just straight one sugar. The third thing you need to decide is how much money you wanna spend. All right, so if you're gearing up for something that is longer in duration or you're gearing up for events that go from back to back, like if you're doing a multi-leg event or you're backpack hunting for several days in a row, then you want something that has a higher sodium content in it. So those are gonna be more specialty products and maybe more expensive. So an example between those two would be something like Tailwind Nutrition, which is a bit pricier. Uh, compared to Gatorade Endurance Formula, which is different than the Gatorade powder that you typically find on store shelves. It's higher sodium restoration and it's a different carb mix sometimes. So those two are gonna be on the more expensive end of things. If you're looking for something cheaper, you could certainly do the regular Gatorade formula or you could use regular old Tang. So Tang is essentially this combination of single and double sugars combined in one. It of course lacks the sodium, which you could easily make up at a fuel station that's a high salt snack. So hopefully this helps you narrow down your options, helps you determine whether or not you even need one, and if so, which one would be a good option to pick up. If you have any questions, you're welcome to leave them in the comments or you can send me an email at v2pnutrition.com if you felt like the tip was helpful. Love for you to join us at the Instagram, V2P Nutrition. There's tons of other posts related to this, general performance nutrition, general nutrition, application to coaching, or uh, just general mountain nutrition as well.